Yeah. Your favorite day, guys. Unboxing day. My favorite day, I guess. Because, you know, more paddles. Actually, I don't know if that's my favorite thing because I got a lot. Anyways, let's go see what we got today. Okay, well, this is a Hue Def paddle. We got two paddles. I do like the Hue Def's kind of paddle sleeve. It's this kind of like faux leather. It's kind of soft though and really malleable. All right, let's see what we got in here, Hue Def. Oh, looks like it's their Viva Pro Gen 3. This looks like it has a Kevlar carbon fiber weave, like almost every other paddle manufacturer right now coming out with a carbon Kevlar weave. Looks pretty good. I wonder if it's the same one, if this is just a second one, or if this is something a little different. Let's see. Uh, looks like it's just a second one. Both the same thicknesses, with the different weights or anything. I think they're just two separate ones. All right, a little high swing weight. You know, like a year or so ago, I would have really been excited for a paddle like this because it's elongated. The head heaviness is, like the swing weight is a little bit higher, and I really like that at the time because I really was, I would say, a banger maybe just like a year, two years ago. Um, but these should probably be pretty good. I did like the Gen 2, which was just raw carbon fiber. Let me see if I have it handy. Here you go. Here's a comparison. The Gen 2 versus the Gen 3. Huh. I'm not gonna lie to you, the Gen 2 feels like it has a little bit more weight to it. It feels a little bit more solid. And the Gen 2 was actually a really solid paddle. I know a few people in my town that really like it and they play with it. They like to hit with a lot of spin and a lot of power. They really just like to drive the ball. And uh, yeah, it feels good. I'm excited to try this Carbon Kevlar. And honestly, this might be a good way to kind of compare two paddles with two different faces, or I guess compare a raw carbon fiber face versus a carbon Kevlar face to see if I can really feel any noticeable difference because my thought process with the carbon Kevlar is that it's still borderline just a gimmick. It's, it's cool, it's a little bit different. I think it does have a somewhat of a slight feel, but for most people, they're not gonna feel it. If I have a tough time almost differentiating between the two surfaces, like if you blindfolded me and I hit two paddles, one with uh, carbon Kevlar or even Kevlar and then one with raw carbon fiber. I'm not sure if I would be able to tell the difference. Sometimes maybe I'm just doing Jedi mind tricks on myself, telling myself that it's different when maybe they're really not. Anyways, thanks Yuda for these. Next up, I wonder <laughs> who this is from. Chorus, the shapeshifter. I've not heard about Chorus that much or really played with them. I know John and uh, Chris, I think, have played with them, so they haven't really told me much about it. I really, I also haven't really asked them about it all that much either. But I think John mentioned it once or twice in one of his pods, and uh, he uh, talked about it pretty positively, but didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. Let's see. This is the shapeshifter. This. Is Ah, interesting. Another paddle with that 18K kind of weave that uh, Diadem popularized, I guess, or was first to come on the scene with. I think it does look pretty cool. A little trippy. Looks like another hybrid type shape. Put it at the top. I mean, it's a clean looking paddle. I, I still don't know if this pattern does anything but at the very least, I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, is the Echo more premium? It comes in this packaging where there's, there's a little bit more packaging. Some protection. Okay, that's new. I've never seen that before where the plastic is in here and then also comes in the paddle cover. Oh. Huh. Looks like it's just regular raw carbon fiber. This the shape is kind of interesting. Shorter handle and elongated. Very reminiscent of maybe the Electrum Model E. But also, this is very interesting actually. This 
Let me see. Obviously you guys can't feel what I'm feeling, but there's, there's this kind of residue or something on it. It feels a little sticky, but like when I take my, my fingers off, it doesn't leave any residue, but when I touch it, it almost feels like there's some sort of substance on it that I want to wipe away. It might be interesting for a spin. I'll have to check in on that and ask them. And I don't know if this is because the plastic was over the paddle and that was inside of a paddle cover and maybe it's smushed in somehow, but it definitely feels different. Huh, it's a very, very weird sensation. I'll have to ask them about that. Okay, so this is the course Echo. This is the shapeshifter. What do you guys think? Look good or no? I'm not sure how I feel about this course this year. I mean, I think it looks pretty clean. All right, next up, the Engages. We got the new Pursuit Pro Ones. They look just like the old Pursuit uh, Pros, except there's a curve on the, the top of the paddle. I think it actually looks a little bit better. Let me know down in the comments below, do you guys like the more squared off shape or do you guys like this curved shape? And also this is very strange. Why do they have the 6.0 with this kind of more matte edge guard, which I'm a huge fan of. I think this looks way cleaner. And then this Pursuit Pro, I guess 13 millimeter, non 6.0 model, still has the glossy edge guard. I will say the improvement on the handle is good. It feels pretty solid. And I don't know, I'm pretty excited to try these out. I did like the Pursuit Pros. I didn't do a video on them, but I did mention them in a kind of like best paddles I'm playing with currently at the moment. And this did make the list. I still think these are pretty powerful. Probably would make my top 10 for sure. And also, I'm just curious to know, do you guys like the design of the engaged paddles with this target reticle in the middle? Is that how you say it? Reticle? Reticule? Anyways, I don't know, I still feel like it's a little outdated, but on the black, I think it's okay. We'll see. It looks like it's built just a little bit better, but I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Well, I know what this one's from. This is from Ron Bissell. I'm going to assume that this is the new FX30 paddles. Now, I did play with the FX30. I had some pre-production units or some not finalized versions of it, and they were okay. I felt like they were maybe right in between the, the Pulsar, the old Pulsar and the Nova. And so this is the new FX version of the Pulsar. So this is the, this is the R3 shape, elongated, long handle, squared off at the top. Let's see. And here we have the R1 shape, which is also elongated, but has the curved edge at the top. I'm curious to see what changes he made. I know there's some different tech in here or like a different pattern or somewhat or, or something rather. You can kind of see this, this almost matrix like net shape almost into it. And it's supposed to be, I guess, as just as powerful as the Pulsar, but maybe a little bit more forgiving. But the first ones that I did try, I didn't see any real noticeable difference in them, quite honestly. And they were a little bit, they like, felt a little bit heavy when swinging them, like the swing weight was a little bit higher. I heard that these ones that he just sent me, right, that Rhombus just sent me, have a little bit of a lower swing weight. So I'm curious to try that out. But I would say this is more of an all-court paddle. I'll let you guys know what I think about them after I go play with them. So many paddles to play. Also, let me know, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this graphic right here with kind of this grid or this net shape. And I kind of get it because that's part of the, the tech that's in it. And you can easily distinguish between the new FX line, Pulsar FX versus the old one because it has this graphic right here. I don't hate it, but I'm also not in love with it either. I do like the fact that uh, Rhombus put the, the baby blue edge guard all the way around. It kind of makes it a little bit more distinct. So yeah, we'll see. All right, and last but not least, we have one last paddle. This looks like it is from Volaire. 
Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. This looks like a paddle that has just regular paint grit, but they're doing in collaboration with some of the NBA teams. I think I've seen a few others out there. I can't remember if Volare was the company that did them, but this is for OKC. As some of you may know, I'm from Oklahoma. So this is kind of cool. I did go watch an OKC Thunders game fairly recently. And uh, I would say I'm not a huge basketball fan, but I'm, I'm more of a casual. I like to watch highlights, keep up a little bit. I think a I think I find it entertaining and pretty interesting. So this is kind of cool, but I don't know about this paddle. It's definitely the Mach 1 shape. And it just uses paint grit. Not sure if it's gonna last any long, but this is kind of something cool to hang up and I don't know if I'd play with it, but really just use it as decoration in a room. Is this supposed to get me to go to more NBA games? Or is there some cross-marketing initiative between pickleball and basketball? I'm not so sure, but I think it's pretty cool though. Let me know what you guys think of this and if you know, you're know you a fan of another sports franchise, would you have a paddle with you know their logo or their colors on it and would you play with it? All right, that's it for this unboxing video. Till next time, play better. Peace.